In this video, we discuss the Parliament of India. The Parliament of India is its legislative organ. The primary function of the Parliament is to make laws for governing the nation. The Lok Sabha is known as the Lower House or the House of the People. The Lok Sabha has 552 members. 530 members represent the states. Up to 20 members represent the Union Territories and not more than 2 members of the Anglo-Indian community. The 2 members of the Anglo-Indian community are nominated by the President if it is in the President's opinion that the Anglo-Indian community is not adequately represented in the Lok Sabha. For elections to the Lok Sabha, each state is divided into constituencies on basis of territory. For example, Maharashtra is divided into 48 constituencies. Karnataka is divided into 28 constituencies. Goa is divided into two constituencies and so on. The division into constituencies is done on basis of the size and population of a state. The division is done in a way that the ratio between the number of the seats or constituencies allotted to each state in the Lok Sabha and the population of that state is the same for all states as far as practicable. For example, the population of the state of Goa is lesser than the population of a larger state such as Maharashtra. So Goa has only two Lok Sabha constituencies which means two Lok Sabha MPs and Maharashtra has 48 Lok Sabha constituencies which means 48 Lok Sabha MPs. The Rajya Sabha is also known as the Upper House or the Council of States. Article 80 of the Indian Constitution provides that the strength of the Rajya Sabha should be 250 members. Out of the 250 members, 238 members represent the states and the union territories and 12 are nominated. The 238 elected members are elected by elected members of the state assemblies in accordance with a single transferable vote system through proportional representation. Under the system, a voter has a single vote that is initially allocated to the most preferred candidate and is transferred to other candidates according to the voter's stated preferences. As the count proceeds, the candidates are either elected or eliminated. I will deal with the system of single transferable vote in another video with more clear examples. The 12 nominated members are nominated by the President from amongst persons having special knowledge or practical experience in respect to matters such as literature, science, art and social service. Few examples of such nominated persons, cricketing icon Sachin Tendulkar, former RBI Governor Bimal Jalan, famous lyricist and poet Javed Akhtar, actress Rekha and the Indian Olympic boxer Mary Combe. Article 84 of the Indian Constitution prescribes the qualification for a person to be a Rajya Sabha or a Lok Sabha member. Firstly, the person should be a citizen of India. Secondly, the person should at least be 25 years of age if he wants to be a member of Lok Sabha and the person should at least be 30 years of age if he or she wants to be a member of Rajya Sabha. Parliament can make laws to prescribe any other qualifications under Article 84 of the Constitution. Parliament has made the Representation of Peoples Act of 1951. Under the Representation of Peoples Act, it is required that the person's name should be registered as a voter in any constituency. The registered voter must also be eligible for voting. There is a difference between being registered voter and being eligible for voting. If due to any reason the person is not eligible to vote, for example if he is jailed, then he cannot contest parliamentary elections. Only a person from reserved category can contest from a reserved seat. The constitution does not prescribe any educational qualifications for membership of the house. The term of Lok Sabha is 5 years from the date of commencement of its first session. The Lok Sabha term may be reduced if it is dissolved by the President and the Lok Sabha term may also be extended by a law 
for one year at a time during proclamation of an emergency. The Lok Sabha, whose life has been extended, cannot continue beyond a period of six months after the proclamation of emergency has ceased to operate. The Rajya Sabha is a permanent house. It cannot be dissolved like Lok Sabha. The Rajya Sabha MPs are elected for a period of six years, but one third of its members retire after every two years. The election held to fill a vacancy arising otherwise than by retirement of a Rajya Sabha MP on expiration of his term of office is called a by-election. A member elected in a by-election remains a member for the remainder of the term of the member who had resigned or died or disqualified to be a member of the house under the 10th schedule. To summarize, in this video we have discussed the Lok Sabha, the Rajya Sabha, the qualifications of MPs and the term of the two houses. We'll discuss the disqualifications of the members of the parliament, sessions of the parliament and passing of bills in our subsequent videos. Hope you've liked the video. Bye.